I would be willing, if you're, you made the concession, I'd be willing to concede to, to say, great, there's a compromise. Let's have a year to look at it and see what we can do to make things work. It's not going to be an easy decision either way. If things have to get done. The bleachers are a safety concern for us as a board, and that we can't emphasize that point more clearly. That's the real concern we have. So we need to order bleachers. Does it give us a year then? We put it back. Do we now have that time? So if the coach is willing to have a season here and allow us to, to try and figure out some other things, other options, that's the way I'd like to go. So that's a yes. That's a yes. A yes to, my question though, a yes to what you're saying to play the four home games, but is it a yes to making a move in a few weeks based on what Kathy brings us information financial, that are we ordering these bleachers? Because my point of view is I've seen this kick down the road for three, four, five years now. Sure. And to be honest, I think it's time, like Barry said, that we have to make a decision, not a rash one financially, but we have to make a decision at some point what's going to happen here. Because by saying, okay, four games at this field this year, and that's giving us another, are we saying we're going to take a whole other year to make a decision? No, that's not what I'm saying. Okay. What's the, the point? We are going to make the rash decision if we go now because everything will be Yes, I agree. So, no, I've already said we're, we're not going to do we'll, We're going to have the four games here with the intent of building and figuring it out and doing what the package can give us a real number, figure it all out, and make a better decision, more educated decision on what we can do, how we can build it, what we can figure out, have the time to pull in all the fun. But so, not no, Some ways, but I thought that you know, um, Barry, what you were getting at was come back after we've heard options how to finance this and still make a decision in time to possibly order these bleachers in March. But that this field up here for four games is it a backup plan if construction doesn't happen on time and so forth? Well, it could be just rolling out. It could Being be able trapped. to get bleachers for it. could be setting a trap for you guys because we order those bleachers. I think once we dip our toes in that field, that's it. I may be more popular later. But, you know, I'm not trying to make it seem like a trap, but I, I just thought it would buy a few. I'm, talk, I'm not talking about waiting for months. You know, keep moving forward, but at least they're going to know they're gonna, where they're going to be for those four so days. So we're ruling out being able to have bleachers installed at either location by We're not even ruling that up. I mean, okay. I mean if we can come if we can come back on the twenty fifth and discuss this with Kathy. If we decide that we're gonna go to the high school field. Okay. Let's say that. Then and we decide that within a month. Well, you know, maybe three games have bleachers on. Or if we decide we're gonna repair make repairs to pop the odor, then that would start sooner. Okay, that, that's fine, and that's, well, I guess, I my question would be, what the decision is going to be. This is a backup plan. Be it one okay. game, be it two games, or four games. But there's a lot of logistical things that Mrs. Yardley brought up, because, you know, there's, there's the rest of the, of the show. I agree. I mean, I brought that, I've said that before. You know, who, who doesn't come to watch their child that night? Cheerleaders, band, football. And, and I agree, Christy, what you said. I think that, you know, if we... We're foolish if we sit here and think that we're just going to say to parents, sorry, the boys are going to play their game, the girls are going to cheer, the band will play, but none of you are coming in to see anything. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe, maybe... We'll have a full school. auditorium. Maybe as Mr. Laughlin said, you know, people come and sit on those, those terraces that are there. Maybe they like that. Maybe we have a whole new thing. Wow, that's much. Maybe... Maybe we have like a open air seating. <laughs> I'm just saying, not that we need more options.
talk about a real safety hey. risk. There have been band-aids put on that stadium for years, and I think that's part of what our decision here is to say that um, where do we stop putting band-aids on? But I understand what you're saying, and believe me, um, I think every one of you boys and all the boys that aren't here tonight are entitled to play your home games at home because some of the discussion of taking the games to another school's field. Um, if any of you are seniors, I don't know how you would feel about having your entire senior season on someone else's field. There's a lot of things to take in and consider here. So I understand you know, what you're saying that yes, there are little ways to do it, but that's part of our decision that what's, what's the right way to do it. I think I think what I'm hearing everybody say, though, the worst case scenario is you're going to play all four home games here at the high school on Friday nights. We're going to see if we can rent bleachers. We're going to see how many people we can get in. And in the meantime, Mrs. Johnson's going to gather the information for the board on how they could pay for any one of these seven options. She's going to present that to them, and then they're going to make an educated decision when they feel comfortable enough that they're ready to make that decision. But at least we have a plan that you will play your four home games here at Penridge. years old in this district 
and they cost us a lot of money uh, because they leaked, and people like Mr. Lockhart uh, had to try to correct those leaks and avoid having the, the entire structure ruined because of the leaking roofs. So some of those things shouldn't be forgotten. They're important. Um, there are also things like pavement and so forth that just doing them now often saves you money in terms of what it would cost if you wait five years and the pavement deteriorates much further than it is now. So I think all those things come into play. If we use the, uh, the retirement funds that have been set aside, uh, indeed that costs us money as Mr. Huey has pointed out as well, simply because it means that it, uh, that money has to be paid, it's required uh, by the state for us to pay that money, and so that would have to come out of either uh, tax increases or cuts in programs and services that the district offers So to sum it up, Mrs. Johnson is going to look at the seven options and make sure that the board understands if, if we go with any one of these seven, here's the choices of how we can fund them so that the board will have that information. Mr. Loeffler is going to research running bleachers for the high school. 
We are going to go with the contingency plan that we're going to play the four home games at the very least. You'll have them on Friday nights at the high school. That's the worst case scenario. You may not be able to have as many people there or they may have to bring lawn chairs. But with any luck, maybe a decision can be made and we could have bleachers either at Poppy Odor or at the high school, but at least we have a backup plan. Does that sum up what I heard everybody say? Okay, so uh, any final comments from the board? I can talk for yourself out. Uh, I was normally we would do public comment at this time. I think we've got a lot of that already, so I don't think we're going to have that anymore tonight. Although I saw Mrs. Herring, if you could do three minutes, that's it. And then we're going to adjourn. Yeah, I hear you.